It was double celebration for the Okoyas on the 25th of April 2024. Chief Mrs. Folashade Okoya, the wife of industrialist and CEO of Elegaza group of companies celebrated her 47th birthday and it was also her 25th wedding anniversary guys the one percent of the one percent of the nigerian social class we are in attendance trust me you will enjoy every part of this video sit back relax and of course you'll be hearing some you know gist here and there let's get started So here we have the beautiful celebrant and designer Larry da Silva Ajayi looking absolutely gorgeous. Falashade is such a beautiful and gracious woman. Let's see. So here we have Senator Florence Itagiwa arriving the Okoya's mansion for the first part of the event. Because I think it was a two-part event. So we have the beautiful Mrs. Abba Fola Wiyo. They are both contemporaries. Both women are in their maybe 80s, 70s or 80s or maybe 80s, 90s. You can see Chief Mrs. Abba Fola Wiyo being led. She's being held. And you can see Azuka, a staff of This Day magazine, holding Senator Flores Itagiwa. Yes, so these are grannies so that she be treated with special care. Senator Flores used to be a very vocal senator and uh, one of the first people who came out to say yes, I augmented my body. Then she she did her surgery with um, Modube Oswala. The OGs of all these soft cell magazines will definitely know. So seeing her, this she's aged, but at least she still looks pretty gorgeous. I mean, stop on, stop on, stop. so here we have the beautiful Fola Shade Okoya with Anne. Anne works with Channel TV, so I'm pretty sure this event will be on channels. So here we have the chairman, Channels TV, Mr. John Momo and his beautiful wife, Olu Sola Momo. We also have Olu Okewo and his beautiful wife, Lady Ajoke Okewo, Chief Boson Oredola and his beautiful wife, Yinka Oredola. Yes, so we have them joined by the beautiful couple to cut their cake or rather to take pictures by the cake. So here we have the celebrant and her daughter. I wonder why she is dressed like this. So here we have veteran journalist Ruto Sime and the celebrant. Ruto Sime recently turned 60 and she works with This Day magazine and Arise TV. I am pretty sure some of you know her. She is a ball of positive energy. So here we have the former deputy governor of Lagos State and then we also have Chief PC or Latino. I think this is his wife. The way she asked him to step aside there and I love that he acted accordingly like you saw earlier in the video. So we have other dignitaries who we are 
at the beautiful and fantastic event so i hope you are having a great time well people who are not conversant with the lagos social circle may not really enjoy this video for those of us who started watching ovation back in the days we sure understand and can you know flow with what is happening <laughs> So here we have the celebrant and her beautiful makeup artist. So here we have Biola Okoya who is the celebrant, uh, the other half of the celebrant's daughter, that is the man's daughter. The celebrant, of course, has, I think, Falasha is his fourth wife. But after he married her, he kind of stopped marrying other women, which is very sweet, very cute. So that was his daughter. Although I didn't quite get her body language, but I must commend her for coming. And uh, in back in the days, the Okoyas used to throw fantastic parties, guys. And I am not kidding. Like almost every weekend, the true parties, the wore really skimpy clothes where we got to see the big boys and the big girls of the Lagos social scene. But all of a sudden, they just piped low, started wearing dresses that really covered them, covering their hair, and they changed generally. I recall when this lady got married to him, it was like, oh my god, who is this young girl? She was in Unilag, I think, so she was just 22. And then there were rumors that they actually met at one of his many parties. But funny enough, um, this lady, she, has, she got married to him and I am not even going to lie. I never thought that this marriage was going to last. I was like, oh, maybe she just wants to eat his money and run away. Because I don't think she is fully Nigerian. Do I think she has a Liberian or Cameroon link or something? I don't think she is fully Nigerian. I know one half of her parents isn't Nigerian. So like I said, guys, I was like, oh, no way. This marriage is not going to last. Surprisingly, 25 whole years. I mean, it's such a big deal. And I must confess, they are doing fantastically well because no drama. The woman is just on her lane. I love her so much. A fashion icon. I think she joined Instagram like last year or two years ago. Yes, for the longest time, she hasn't been on Instagram. But one thing for sure, she was a regular at Ovation. Like, Dele Momo do that year and uh, every other. Oh, Falasha de Okoya. She was such a big deal. Still a fashion icon, though. So I was super excited to see Ulori Sekinat. It's been ages. I saw her. I learned she has been sick. I don't know how to. I saw some comments. Oh, get well soon. You will not buy and all that. So it looks like she was sick for some time. And we know recently her husband has been on the marriage spree, getting married to women. Like I think he like three. He has married like two extra wives outside her. And I don't think she is taking it well because I learned the a childhood sweethearts and she started with him from the scratch so she's definitely not taking his new love for polygamy really well as much as he's a muslim because i learned she has three girls and looks like 
the king is in search of an heir to the throne because he happens to be an only son so olori sekina she's actually my favorite olori you know I always stand with first wives nothing concern me with second third wife so they are on their own so olori is pretty much having a difficult time adjusting lately i've been seeing her husband with one of his other wives he has a wife from the north and olori of course is a yoruba lady his wife from the north i think her brother is a politician or something she used to have a son with him and i learned then she had a son she was always taunting this Lori Sekinat and then her son died one time and I don't think she has been able to have another child after that so let's see what we have next that's all about Olori Sekinat she is my favorite Olori I love her so much she's such a beautiful woman so here we have Chief Ruto Sime having a great time she sure knows how to have a great time meanwhile her bestie was at an event at another event somewhere in town while Ruto Sime partied with the Okoyas her bestie is in Kiru Anumodo and in Kiru was actually at the 60th birthday party of the wife of the CEO of Sinox Computers Mrs. Choma Stan Eke. Well, let's move on, babies. <laughs> It'd be like say this shoe cost too, because I don't get to. <laughs> Mrs. Fola Shadokuya is an amazing woman because she really took her time going from table to table to ensure her guests were well taken care of and she also took lots of pictures with them, pictures and videos of course. So we have, this is Mrs. Fola Shade Okoya and her husband. Her husband is in his 80s actually, like it should be like maybe 83 or 84, not so sure, but he is definitely in his 80s and she is 47 well i think after bianco juku their, their wedding was one that shook the soft cell magazine or the i want to say the internet because the internet wasn't big in 99 but i know their wedding was all over the covers of society magazines 16 carriages driving away one you know when it comes to throwing a fantastic party you can give it to the yorubas especially the okoyas boy these people throw the best parties in the early 2000s people scrambled to get invitations to be at the okoyas parties because they always had lots of drinks food and various types of entertainers i am just so shocked he didn't invite king sonia de Pasuma or what's the Kwam one? I guess that maybe they were not chanced because Chivokoya is someone that loves to have fun. Ooh, but guys, I have a thought. I haven't like there's a question I want to ask. Can you marry a man who is much older than you? Like, would it be love? And those of you who are married to men that are much older than you, how is your exercise life like? quote and unquote i don't mean like exercise or the type human teaches i mean like bad exercise what is that area like because sometimes i, pe I see people who are married to super older men and, and, and i'm like how would you even be waking up to this squeezed face like wrinkles and all that so i would like to really know the thought process of people who are married to much older men by much older i am talking about maybe a man older than you with i don't know if i should say 15 years is old but let's say for 15 years Come 
This is the beautiful castle of the Okoyas. It's obvious the event held there. We have Chief Emeka Anyoko and the celebrant Chief Razak Okoya. <laughs> former musician Kenny Sands Brown. If you don't know her, call me Auntie Hotspot or say so. Here we have TVC presenter Morayo and her husband. <laughs> I feel like Mrs. Folashade Okoya needs to tell us where she got her strength from because like hey hey she snapped with almost everyone that was at this event and she's so gracious and sweet like I don't even know her in person but I like her And here we have Chief Dele Momodu. He has been a long time friend of the family right from their early days. Like his magazine was like an abode for them. And he also has a special coverage for this beautiful event. Uncle Dele Momodu right there. I like him so much. I feel like he's a really kind and sweet person.
from society hotspot we wish the couple a super happy and wedding anniversary and we pray the leave to celebrate more years in joy and happiness and we wish chief mrs fola shade okoya a belated happy birthday just many returns ma'am